Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Dodge and Burn filter that's available in Aurora HDR 2018. Dodging and burning goes back to the days of film when we actually printed our photographs in the darkroom. And we would actually use a lot of extensive dodge and burn techniques to either bring out something in the image that we wanted people to notice or maybe diminish something in the image that we wanted the viewer to not really notice as readily. And Ansel Adams comes to mind as a photographer that used extensive dodge and burn techniques in his darkroom to really bring out the beauty of the scenes he photographed. And Ansel Adams probably spent hours with a single image perfecting the dodge and burn techniques that he used for that scene. Well, nowadays digitally, it's much easier to dodge and burn. And with Aurora HDR 2018, it's very easy with that dodge and burn filter. Now, as you can see, the filter is just a single slider, but there's really more to it than that. To begin using the filter, click on where it says Start Painting. And once you do that, along the top, you'll have some attributes of the tool or the filter. You can see there's Lighten and Darken. Lighten is dodging. When you're dodging an image, you're lightening something. Darken is Burn. When you're burning an image, you're darkening something in the image. So there's dodge and burn. Then we have erase. If you don't like what you did, you could just erase that brush stroke. To the right of that is size, and that's your brush size. And there's three different ways to change the brush size. One is just click to the right of the number, and you'll see there's a slider there, and you can move that to change the brush size. Another way is if you just hover over the word size, you'll see the cursor turns into that double arrow thing. That's called a scrubby slider. So all you have to do is hover over the word size, click with the left mouse button, hold that in, and drag to the right or left, or even up and down. Right and left is the way I do it, and you'll change the size of the brush that way. The third way to change the size of the brush is to hit the bracket keys. The right bracket key will make the brush larger, and the left bracket key makes the brush smaller. Now, to the right of that is strength. How strong is each brush stroke going to be? Could 100% strength or maybe 10% strength? Usually, when we dodge and burn, we don't uh, use strength very high because each stroke is cumulative. So if you're at 10% strength, and you do a brush stroke, it might not be light enough, let's say you're dodging. Well, if you do another brush stroke, it'll make it a little lighter. Another brush stroke, a little lighter. If you're at 100%, you're kind of just throwing everything at the image at once, and you can't be as subtle. So typically, we'll keep strength relatively low and just apply more brush strokes. And you could change the strength the same ways uh, that you changed the size. You could click there, get that slider, use the scrubby slider, or use the bracket keys on your computer, whatever is easiest for you. If you did a bunch of dodging and burning and it just looks horrible, you could click reset and it will reset everything and you'll get rid of all those uh, dodges and burns that you really didn't want to do to the image. So let's do something to this image. These trees back here I think are a little dark, so I want to dodge those. I want to make those a little brighter. So I'm going to use the bracket keys on my keyboard and get a correct size brush. I'm going to make sure that we're clicked on Lighten. And then I'm going to change the strength to, let's say, 20%. And I'll paint on these trees back here. Now you can see it's only 20% strength. Conversely, if I put that strength, let's say, at 100 and I painted, you can see how it's making it really bright all at once. That's really not what I want to do. I want to do a more subtle adjustment. So I'm going to get rid of that. But we'll come back over here and we'll put strength back down towards 20. And then we'll come in here and add another brush stroke. And maybe another brush stroke. 
So we're kind of building it up. Now I'll turn the, the dodge and burn filter off. There's before and there's after. So you can see I built it up by adding brush stroke on top of brush stroke. Now let's just come back and click start painting again. And let's just say I want to darken something in the image that would be burn. So uh, the path, maybe I think the path is a little bit too bright and I want to bring that down a little bit. So I'm going to bring uh, strength down to 30 this time or around 30, 28 is good. So we'll paint on this path. Just to darken it up a little bit, I'll adjust the brush size as I go with that bracket keys. And we'll come in here like this. And let's say I make a mistake and I went over here and I didn't want to do it there. So I'll get the erase but or the erase brush and I'll get appropriate brush size and I'll erase my mistake from there. So that's pretty much it. Dodging and burning. It's very simple to do. When you're done with the tool, you could click on the start painting button again and that will close down the tool attributes along the top and again the amount slider you could change to um, bring down dial in the exact amount of the dodging and burning you want as you can see when it's all the way down it's the same as having the filter off and we'll turn it all the way up because i liked it and that's it dodge and burn in aurora hdr 2018 Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.